wow, do you see that behind me? First off, underneath this giant space needle is a giant arcade called Arcadia. And I like it because it kind of sounds like it has Katie in the name. I'm just going with that. Anyway, we think this might be the biggest arcade in Gatlinburg. It's super loud inside. So just like apologies already for that. But there have to be some big tickets inside a big arcade, right? Fingers crossed for Arcadia. Okay, to start us off, this side of the SpongeBob ticket coaster only needs Plankton and Pearl. So those are 30 values. Those are like medium sized cars. But if I come around, Spencer says this side is better because it only needs Squidward and Patrick. And as you can see, those come around, those are the two biggest cars on here. So um, yeah. obviously low ticket value, bigger the car. But I think we can figure that out. So um, let's give this a whirl. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the pricing is here uh, because it's like gold credits, but um, this was five credits. So, yeah. I'm nervous. I am too, I guess. But uh, the reason we're playing this is because the big bonus is a thousand if you can get all of them. Come on, Patrick. Oh, no, are oh, you kidding Ironically, me? Pearl, which Wait, the others had needed. They counted as Patrick. Wait, what? What was and going Sandy. on? It counted as Patrick and Sandy. Okay, we're going to run with this then. Um, that makes absolutely no sense, but now it's saying we only need Squidward. So what will count for Squidward? Oh gosh, what have we gotten ourselves into? Let's do it. All right, let's, let's. Oh, just kidding, well, let me swipe while it's counting tickets. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, um, it's, it's one of those days. Okay. SpongeBob? No oh way. Oh my gosh, we they didn't need SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Okay, well, at least that's 100 tickets. So let's try it one more time for yeah. Squidward. Yeah. So this game is very hard to time because not only does it spiral down here, it has a pretty long track to get to the train. Um, Spencer does a great job with it. I really struggle with this. Okay, so I think this might be something of the game and not specifically of the card reader. I've swiped, it read my card swipe, but it's not getting my, my credit until the score reads zero over here. Oh, okay. That's kind of annoying, but it um, should be like right now. Four, three, Ready? two, one, yes. Maybe not. Oh, <laughs> I can't tell what it's doing. I don't know what it's doing. It's flashing. Right. It's like a whole uh, thing. Swiping again, I guess. Okay. Yeah, now we're good. Okay. So it's going for that train coming around. That was a slow one. That's not going to oh, happen. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, maybe. <gasps> okay, please count it. Yes! Yes! Super bonus! Sorry for the flashing. So that's going to be a thousand tickets. You can see right here, a thousand tickets to start this off with. And it only took us four tries. Um, the game was nice to us, obviously. We aren't going to discount that, but that's an amazing way to start this video. There's only one letter out, so we're not playing this right now, but this is the largest <laughs> zombie bonus I've seen in a long time. Ever. There's the letter. It is ever, you're right. Uh, although we did have that one game where we never knew what the bonus was, so that's there's true. that. But um, we might have to, we might keep an eye on this as we're walking around, because that's pretty crazy. Here's a game that I think we maybe have only played at IAPA, not really IRL. So it's called Timberman. And um, obviously there's start, cut left and cut right. So it's like many of those games where something is falling from the top and you have to pick left or right. I think this is a pretty standard under understood gameplay. Yeah. Um, obviously a cute little theming. There's birds at the top of the tree. We have to save them. Spencer, save the birds. 500 tickets, I think you need 400 points. Yeah, okay. 400 points. And you get one ticket for every two points. I don't know if a point is like one chop. But I don't then know. Scorty to get so 30 points for three tickets. Y'all, this math, I can't. Arcade math should be taught in school. Alright. Honestly. I'm gonna die. Oh wow, okay. Oh. Okay. Okay, you're right. A reminder, save the birds. Okay, I think we got that. Oh, okay. You did start. Did you hit start? Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Got, okay. Here we go. Finally, the game is starting an hour later. Oh. Okay, so there's a, some sort of red bar at the top that's telling us something. Okay, that's 50 tickets. Oh my gosh. He's a monster. Oh, oh no. that, wow, that got 89 really tickets. Okay, I don't know that you could have gone 258 more. I mean, 
first off, that just seems like a lot, but 89 tickets is pretty good for this, so um, I, I'm pleased with it. I don't know what this is, the Iris Theater. It says it's the number one show in Gatlinburg. It looks like they actually have like a magic theater inside of this place as well. But, oh, okay. Oh, we all have, these are all branded prizes. Oh, not these. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a mirror. Oh, mirror bottom. Oh, that's oh. confusing. Okay, so these are all branded. This is the Space Needle Gatlinburg, which is above us, literally part of this place. Arcadia, and then, so these are like bigger cups and those are smaller cups. Smaller claw, bigger claw. And they're all four credits. All right, you go for it. I, would go, I mean, whatever one's behind it. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to go far enough left to go for like this round. So I would definitely go for maybe that front one. They did just recently set this up. We watched her reset this and they took the ones that were leaning over, which I'm assuming is gonna be easier to win and stood them all up. So let's see, they're all Silipines, which are branded. Like that's an actual brand. Oh, what are you? Oh, um, go back a little bit. No, 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 stop. Just don't, don't touch it. That's it. That, okay. I don't think I would have gone for that one, but. Is it gonna knock it over? It's gonna knock it over. What happened? You did my back to front. It was fine back to front. I give it another try. It's less than a dollar a play. I think we kind of figured out that like five credits equals one dollar. This one's four credits. So I'm sure that's really gonna mess this up in the future, but I don't know. I just, where's she gonna go? I'll put her I'll put you a little bit more forward this time. Are you which one are you going for? The same one? Yeah. Go back a little bit. A little bit more. A little bit more. Um, yeah, it's good. I'm nervous. Is that the same exact spot? No, 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 no. That's that's not going to do anything. It didn't even knock it over. That's what I said. I think her like, sitting him up like that really didn't do us any favors. Oh. What are you thinking, Gady? I'm going to do it one more time. She's going to do it one more time, and she's going to give it that, that third try. I almost, yeah, I don't know. That one kind of hit the top. I don't know how to knock it over. I'll be honest. I'm, like, thinking about this one. Huh, back, I guess. Let's see, that's too much. To uh, forward a little bit. That, that, I guess give it a shot there. Um, I'm nervous about this again, you guys. It's gonna hit the same exact spot and it's not gonna knock it over. All right, if you can't knock that over, we can't keep playing this game. You're not gonna win that standing straight up and if it's not knocking over, that's a no-go for me. Okay, this is a, a pretty good setup. So we got a big tower over here, which is pretty cool. That's like your standard. Um, this is a mess when we came in and it looks like someone else has played it. Uh, it's one away from the tower builder. I am sorry, this game is a little complicated to explain. So um, feel free to drop a comment if you need some more clarification, but uh, I don't want to go too far into it. But basically as Spencer drops the tokens there, if they fall into the yellow, red, or blue squares, it will cause these things to light up like you just did with the blue one. And uh, once the red one lights up all the way, that's how you build a new tower in this game. There's a chance that this could just push over, but um, I don't know. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I gave you tickets at least too. Oh, that's gonna be a nice big push. Oh wow, it's really messed up. That's a, a lot of tickets. I don't know why. Um, that would make me wanna play this for a very long time, personally. So now we're going to do this tower builder. So let me take a moment to explain what's going to go through here. You're going to drop tokens as fast as you can. Any of the tokens that go through any of the three colored squares are going to count for spins. And spins are how we're going to do this here. I'm going to get to that in a second. So uh, we can see two, three, four, five, seven. Okay, so not bad. So we'd like to get one egg within seven times. It's a little hard to see that fifth one's not lit up there. Okay, so nine, okay. So, um, and a little bit of a push. So now what's gonna happen here, in just a second, this tray is going to move all the way back and it's gonna start building that tower. Spencer's gonna start spinning this little wheel right here. Um, there's values ranging from 18 to uh, 36 on there and then one spot is an egg. We want the egg here right now. Okay, so he's basically got nine tries to get the egg. It doesn't matter how big of a tower we build, it will probably push this one off regardless, so. Although I have oh, a on, feeling. Come on. Yes! Whoa. Yeah! Come on! It's gotta, it's gotta spin around. It's gotta see it. Oh my god. It's gonna double check it. Yes! 3,130 tickets. That is absolutely crazy. Okay, so now that's gonna go there to coin tickets and then we'll go on our card. Yes! That is 
is actually oh, yeah. crazy. We're getting a little flashing up here. It's pretty exciting. Um, it's pretty loud in here, so we can't hear anything else. But um, that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, well, now we'll come back to you when the tower's built so okay. you can see it. Okay, here we go. We came here just in time. Oh, it's already turning. The tower's already slightly messed up. But let's see what happens. It might push this tower straight in. We're really hoping for that. Oh, it's going to be really close. So this tower is 414 tokens. You can see it's solid in either of those ones. And it's going to dump out some bonus tokens because we put some bonus spins in there. Oh, man, I'm a little nervous. I thought we were for sure going to have it on that push. And I don't know if we're going to have it at this point. It, it already turned a little bit to the side. This is kind of weird. So let it suspense its bonus tokens. I didn't put any more swipes in here. It's really close. This actually is a flexible lift. You can kind of see it there. So it doesn't have the super high lift that most coin pushers have. We're still counting up tickets from that egg bonus too, which is insane. Oh, this should be good. It was not that good, I'll be honest. So let's see. Um, it looks like the yellow tokens aren't spitting out very far. They're if not. You oh, that was it. Yeah, the yellow tokens were actually hitting that. Oh, wow, that's really close. Okay, we'll put in a few more. It was actually hitting that signage there and not dispensing. Usually the yellow tokens go a slight bit farther. So let me put a couple of swipes in here. Luckily, I can do that while the tickets are counting up. No way. Katie, how long do you think this is going to take? I don't know. Not that long. Apparently not that long. <laughs> <laughs> I'll slow that down so you can watch that too. And it's going to count up all the coin tickets. So here, coin tickets is where it puts it before it goes to tickets, which goes on the card. So it's going to count up quite a few tickets there, and we'll come back with what the total is. There you go, final count is 1,550 tickets from that tower. Combined with the egg bonus and then the ticket bonus, we got over 5,500 tickets from this machine. And that's not just including, like that's not including the regular tickets that have just fallen in there. So that's insanity. Yeah, we spent a few dollars on this machine, obviously, but at only four credits per swipe, that's less than a dollar per swipe and getting six plays. I This was a fantastic value here. And if I had more time, I'd be going for that super tall tower over there. Holy cow. I have never seen so many 900s. Um, we recently went to an arcade that we chose not to film at because it was only 100s in the ticket ring. Maybe that arcade should call this arcade. Yeah. Um, and because this is how it's done. Um, which one are you going to go for? Because you have a lot of options. Flat that one. black, the back one right there, totally flat. Oh, hey. Um, and this one you said was what, six credits? Eight, Eight credits. credits. So uh, about a buck 75, buck 50. I don't know. Let me get out of your way. Ready? He's really working hard for this one. Good, good, good. Okay, so that's a beautiful lineup. Let's see how strong it is. Will it hold it? It, it. it looks it's pretty strong. It. Look at it. It's got it like in a grip. It really does. Okay. Wow. Will lightning strike twice or are you walking away? There is. That one I'm is pretty good. That one's pretty that good. That one's up like those ones that they set up at the other arcade. Okay, so what he's speaking about is some of the other face arcades um, uh, where you've seen us play like the downtown Flavor Town. They set up these ticket rings like intentionally, so that's the only way they can be won. Um, and again, we've talked about this, whether they need to be flat or upright, it's you're able to win both ways, but this, this is crazy. I feel like I've said that too many times in this video, oh, but oh. I'm not sure. Oh, will it hold it? It will, it's got it. Oh my goodness, That's 1,800 tickets. Oh my goodness. Are, One more time. Oh my gosh. I don't, I don't, I hope you all understand that sometimes we're just at a loss for words. I mean, we play at arcades all over the country and we don't win this kind of ticket sometimes. So, um, where are you going? I'm saying I'm, I'm going to go for that one back there with the 600. Okay. I the don't other know. good option is this one, but. Yeah. Okay. Oh, um, it got really stuck. It's not going to pick up anything. Oh. Wouldn't that have been funny um, if it had picked up all those? Should I try for this one once? Try for this one once. I think this one's a little bit easier to grab. Um, I think oh, we- Or this 600 and 900. You think you can get both? Are you really gonna tempt fate like this? Who are you? Who are you, sir? We don't usually do that. Mm, that mm, I'm too happy, too happy. Okay. All right, I'm out. I'm you're out. done, I you're done. 1800. <laughs> Core request, you know it, you love it. I guess we're gonna try to go for that bonus. This one is the highest one, Nick. Okay, well, I can't even explain this. I don't even know. Okay, the bonus was pretty high on this one at 15.90, and so I got the spin off. Now Spencer's gonna try to stop it. Oh, oh one off. Okay, well, it was worth a shot. I'm but go look how many second. spins. I've never, I usually see like four, maybe. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 spins in this one side of this machine. And then there's a 100 right there, yeah? And a 50? 
this is just insanity and there is another spin over here so not only do they have this four a six-sided one they also have a two-sided one like right there i i really can't believe that and then you got the 50 just now and that'll send it around and maybe give you some extra oh you almost got it oh it did give you extra t uh, stones right maybe not i don't know <laughs> that, that's crazy this isn't oh 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 wait that'll do it that should do it come on it did it it did it oh my gosh that's crazy so i mean we didn't get the bonus but in one swipe we got over 100 oh you got the bonus, oh, got the bonus. and 850 tickets i don't even know how that happened in one swipe she got a 100 chip a five, five, 50 chip and the 850 ticket bonus i what is going on at this arcade this is literally insanity wow that's this is crazy we said we were walking away, we were not walking away. Katie decided to play for the bonus on this side because it was at 880 and it had almost like, I think it had like eight lights on it. So yeah, she won the 880 bonus on this side as well. That's that's crazy, you still have four stones, where are you going? Okay, I'm gonna play these out then. Sucker, there's a, there's a Barney right over here on the edge. But there's, wait, there's like nothing on top now. Oh no, well, good job, Katie. Oh, hey, whoa, 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 let's see. I don't think it's gonna happen, but we got a spin off. Let's see if it counts. Oh, yeah. Oh, on a way. <laughs> so close, but good job on that 880. We haven't really appreciated the ceiling yet in this arcade either. It's entirely flashed with literally, I'm assuming at this point, thousands of plushies. And yeah, you can tell them that you want these plushies, and if they don't have it at the counter, I just saw them grab a ladder. They will get it for you. Literally, it's the entire arcade, and this place is massive. I really cannot believe how many plushies they have up on the walls and ceilings, it is so cool. Okay, so they do have those cups that Katie was looking at. They also have just the regular silver pints without lids. Those are 9,500. The one she was trying to play for was 10,000. And there's a ton of stuff. They got some high dollar items over here, and, but a ton of prizes. And we showed you all those plush that they had on the ceiling. I'm not sure what we ended up with. I think it's pretty high, but it does look like some of the prize values are, uh, you know, pretty high, which also makes sense because we want a lot of tickets here today. So let's, let's get a final count once we turn in our ticket rings. That wraps it up for us at the Arcadia in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. We got this really cool, like, safe up Playmobil set. The redemption counter was confusing because there were only a few price signs, like how many points things were, and nothing really matched up to those signs. So like there was this, we finished with over 12,000 tickets just to start, and this had a sign saying 13,000, but then on the right side of the counter, there was a sign that said 12,000. So I just went over to the right side and said, yeah, can I get that Stay Puft Man for 12,000? And yeah, they honored it at the 12,000. So it's confusing, so it took a long time too. I don't know, but overall a lot of fun. This is huge. This is the biggest arcade that we found in Gallenberg. So I would definitely recommend it for that reason alone.